so in this tutorial we are learning how to put it when we are locking in we can take our name which we worked on which will be displayed here and put it into the next scene so you can still see the same name so we can use the name in the next scene it's a long time since i've been working on this project but i think i will start making a empty one and call it game manager and i would like to make a script so i will make a script called game uh, manager and on the game manager i will add the new script and in here we want okay now when the game manager is open we will find serialized field uh, then we will say string and we call it player name and for now let's just make it public also um, so we go in the player login play fab we're gonna add a private oh, let's just serialize field private game manager and call it game manager this so with big g and small g and down here where we set the welcome text plus the name we can say that if game manager is not equal to null so let's say there is a game manager uh, we can put in and say that the game manager dot player name is equal to name like that so the game manager's player name will be the equal to the name and over here we have the player name and we should close that down we should see that here is a string and if we start the game write in a email like this and we're gonna write in a code like this you say welcome annex and it didn't change so we have done something wrong if game oh yeah we forgot to take the game manager over here so let's try again and I click here and write the mail write the code and as you can see the name is now here so what we need now is to make the game manager go into next scene so for doing that it's fairly simple we just say don't destroy on load so if we do it now we can just write the mail And the code log in see the name is correct the next uh, scene we still have the game manager with the name so we go into the next scene we have a canvas we can just ignore this part and we're gonna make a panel let's just make it red like this and create a UI text element uh, make it a bit larger pull it out and say here goes player name and we're gonna, just gonna add um, we put it here we can also do it in the game manager but let's just add it here say uh, name um, not sure what to call it actually name crush over this is just I would never call that actually but let's just do it and in the name cross over we are going to have uh, so last field we're gonna have uh, a text uh, let's see we need to be using 
Unity Engine dot UI. I'm going to write a text here, call it player name, uh, text holder. And at the start, we're going to say we also need the serialized field game manager and call it game manager. And what we need to do now is that we need it to find the game manager because the game manager is not in the scene. It will come from the other scene into the scene. And uh, so we need to like check if uh, game manager is equal to null. So if there is, it's just right. If there aren't any game manager, it needs to find it. And then we can say, okay, so game manager is equal to find type game manager like this so now we have a game manager and if we get the we do have a game manager so if we do have a game manager we need to do this and say okay then the player name text holder is equal to game manager just player name that uh, something rank one equal to player name. Oh, we need to write the uh, text. There we go. And let's just put in like a uh, print. Uh, hello here. Hello, here, just to see a little issue we get now, but let's go to our um, scene, and we write the mail, we write the code, we log in, say welcome, we go to the next scene, we see our name, but if we look at the console, it keeps doing this uh, this thing again and again and again and again. I think this to be called every time, uh, we're just gonna make a rule and call it uh, updated name equals false. And we're just gonna say here that you can only go in here with updated name is equal to false. And we are just gonna say updated name here is equal to true. So when we run this one time, it's gonna be equal to true. Then we can take uh, this and just extract methods and say update name. There we go. So it doesn't fill that much. It actually fill the name same, but yeah. um, this the code and we come in welcome anox and we go to the next state anox and we look at the console it's not repeating and that was all for this short tutorial be sure that you subscribe that you like uh, maybe comment on the video it will help me a lot i kind of in a whole way i don't have so much motivation for continuing this series and stuff but every time i get a new subscriber i can feel that i want to come back uh, this video is from a christian on my discord so if you have any questions or something that you're working on that you struggle with please ask and i hope that i can look into it